best masopila me In the jungle there's no rest masopila me Up and down all around masopila me Now come and dance, come and dance with me Uba, uba masopila me Uba, uba masopila me Uba, uba masopila me jungle. Yeah, right. If it was so terrific, how come you never invite us over, Leo? Just come and see for yourselves. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Great. We'll come tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> fine. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Uh -huh. Wait a second, Buster. Don't you have homework? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but not much. First, I've got a super important project with Marsu. <laughs> Seems you've been spending a lot of time on super important projects with Marsu, and not much on homework. Oh, please, we just need one hour, no more, I promise. Then I'll do my homework. All right, but one hour and no more. Thanks a lot, Dad. <laughs> for tomorrow, huh? It'll be a day to remember. I'll show those show-offs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
want to know. Somehow, there's always a jaguar attack or that back alive. Anyways, tomorrow, you stay indoors. Huh? You do your homework and you do it well and then you look after your sister. Your mother and I are going to town. What? Tomorrow? But there's no way. I invited all my friends here. Then you pick up the telephone and you cancel. Oh, no. You pick up the telephone and you cancel. <laughs> oh, I'm going to look so lame. Hoopa Hop? No, no Hoopa Hop. Dad's punished me. Tomorrow's ruined. The kids will destroy me. Hoopa Boo Boo Doo Doo Ba! They'll make sure the whole school thinks I'm a useless wimp. Oh, no, I don't believe it. I mean, come on, man. That's like such a lame excuse, a lousy excuse. That's the best you can do? Hold on, I'll tell Rudy and Jenny. He's scared we could get hurt in the jungle. I knew it. I bet you he's just making it up. Yeah, what a dumb excuse. I bet he cancels. What are you talking about? I'm not canceling anything. So what do we do well, then? I'm not sure. I, I, I'll think about it and call you back, okay? <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, what am I doing? If my dad catches me, I'll be grounded for life. <laughs> and this all happened because of that creep back alive. I saved for three years to buy this outfit, and there isn't even a knife included in it. Huh? Oh, someone there? You! Over here! Over here! Ah. Ah. Oh, no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, I'll get you, Marshal Palami! I'll get my revenge! And you be a good girl now, sweetheart. Good girl. Take care, Leo. We'll be back around 7. And I'll want to see that homework tonight, right? Yes, Dad. Bye, my darlings. Bye, Mommy. Bye. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> Jenny, so are you coming? How, How come, come your sister's, sister's here? here? My parents will be back by seven, but I've got to be home by five. I still got homework for school. I would have done it yesterday, but Back Alive attacked us. He had this weird outfit. It was amazing. Sort of cyber ninja with all kinds of attachments. He caught Marsu in a trap and kidnapped the babies. We were in bad trouble. Until, Until Marsu knocked, knocked him out with, with one blow. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. <laughs> now you be a good girl for Mrs. Marsupilami. Marsupilami! Who 
Hoopa, 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 hoopa. Let's go, Marsu. You're not afraid to leave Zoe like that? Oh, no, Mrs. Marsu's looked after her lots of times. Let's go! <laughs> We're off! Everyone, follow me! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, all right! Hoopa! Hoop, hop, hop, hoop! You are climbing trees. Last one up to Rod Meg. That's no fair. I don't know how to climb. Whoa. Because this is just the start of the show. That's the way to do it. No! <laughs> Down, boy! Easy! but no guarantee we'll find them. Maybe I can use my special propulsion system to snap this darn vine. Ah! Don't Ah! <laughs> 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 
told you so. My jungle is the best. Anyway, that's it for now. We better get back to the house. What? what? Hey, hey, no, no we, we just got started playing here. But I warned you, I've got homework. And besides, I don't want to leave Zoe alone at home with the Marsus too long. Well, yeah, but we don't have homework. We could keep playing a while till your parents are back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's still at least an hour. Thanks for your support. Okay, see you back at the house in an hour. Ah, that means the Marsupalamis are all alone at the Newmans. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't worry. They're fine, I'm sure, and we're nearly there. 
See the moral wheel? It was so cool! Yeah, it was so totally cool! Thanks! Right, well, I gotta run and look like I'm working. We'll do it again, right? Yeah, sure, promise. Go on, hurry! Bye -bye. Oh, see ya! Bye. Whoa! Oh, already? What? My office, my equipment, oh, my screens, my inventions, oh, Leo! He really went ballistic, especially when he found his computers blown up. Grounded for three months and no allowance. Oh, high price to pay for being a hero at school. Anyway, we stopped back alive, that's what's important. Hope he got the message this time. <laughs> of smell. <laughs> Hunters who want to catch a marsupilami had better think twice. But what really sets the marsupilami apart is its tail. <laughs> have a hard time with it. But once they learn how to use their tail, they can do more with it than we can with our hands and feet. Their tail is particularly useful for getting around the jungle. Marsupilamis aren't only at home in the trees, but also on water and underwater, especially when they're fooling around or finding something to eat. A marsupilami makes Tarzan look like a real loser. Uh, no, I guess I can't say that. A Tarzan's nothing compared to a marsu. As well, a marsupilami's tail is incredibly strong. From a very young age, marsupilamis use their tail to defend themselves against the dangers of the jungle. And you shouldn't mess with a female marsupilami either. 
In fact, even the biggest, meanest, most ferocious creature in the world is no match for a Martian Bellamy. <laughs> You're just in time. I'm finally starting my new project. Koopa? <laughs> yeah! Koopa! Koopa! Hello, Yamatunga. Good evening, Leo. Good evening, Masu. Mm. So, how's your project? Almost done? My project's gonna be about the Marsupilami. What? It's supposed to be about someone important. Yeah, I know. But Marsu is really important to me. I'm gonna make it like a news story with pictures and interviews. I'd like to get your opinions. I want to know what you really think about Marsupilamis. What an interesting coincidence. Tomorrow is the summer solstice, and it's on that day that I became Yamatunga. Mm. We Yamatungas call that day the day of decision. Only after much deliberation can you commit yourself to protecting and defending Marsupilamis for your entire life. Oh, way cool! How does it all happen? Can you tell us? There is much that can be said, Leo. Uh, but it's already quite late. Uh, uh, you can come to the pyramid tomorrow and I will tell you all I know. Sue, come look! You remember when we taped you painting? you laugh. I'm going to use it in my chapter on marsupilamis and art. You're up early. Oh, hi. So, how's it coming along? Great. I'm already finished my first chapter. I can start doing the interviews this morning. Can you just let me know when you're ready to do yours, Dad? Oh, well, you know, I don't have much to say about Marsus. Your mom's the specialist. Yeah, I was going to interview Mom anyway. But I wanted your opinion, too. It would have been better for my project. Oh, haven't I told you this isn't a toy? Uh, what about the interview? Well, we'll have to see. Not right now. I've got work to do. It's all right, Leo. You can start with me. Oh, he's never willing to help when it has to do with Marsu. <laughs> there. So tell me, Professor Newman, how long have you been studying marsupilamis, and what would you say has struck you the most about this animal? Mm, it would have to be their behavior towards the other animals in the jungle. One day, we were releasing animals that had been caught by poachers back into the wild. And Mama Marsu took care of it. Why are we hiding? Releasing him back into the wild is tricky. The monkey must have confidence in himself and he needs to feel safe. He did it, but he couldn't have done it without Mama Marsu. <laughs> Marsupilamis are the most powerful creatures in the jungle, but they don't use that strength to dominate the other animals. <laughs> uh, would you say the Marsupilami is the king of the jungle? I think I would call him a big brother. That would be more accurate. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you for that, Professor Newman. Cool, thanks, Mom. That was great. Now I can do my interview with Dad. Leo, I wrote a little something about Marsus. I printed it up and put it on your desk. Oh, uh, thanks, Dad. Do you feel better now? Your father's interested in Marsupilamis, too. You see, Marsu? That's why you should never give up hope. Marsupilamis are really, really amazing, amazing animals. The first thing I noticed about them was their talent for circus acts. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? They're both acrobats and jugglers, and they practice all day long. Why, that little. Tell me who did it! Who? I never want to see that animal here again, you hear me? Never again! They can perform impressive tricks that will literally knock you off your feet. 
Mars Supalamis of all ages have a subtle and clever sense of humor that is loved by one and all. <laughs> That's enough! It's time to go to sleep! <laughs> That's it! This time they better listen! Marsupilamis are skillful cooks, and their creations are imaginative. And it goes on like that for five pages. And I didn't even mention the time I was brought into the station in handcuffs as though I were a criminal. That had nothing to do with Marsu. If it isn't him, then it's his brother or his cousin. But it's always a Marsupilami. You wanted me to help, and I did. That's all I have to say about them. Come on, Marsu, let's go see Yamatunga. Well, you can't get upset if I end up with a bad grade. Uba? Yamatunga is the guardian of the Marsupicoatl Pyramid. At first, we were all afraid of him. He would always tell us stories full of horrible curses and speak in his scariest voice. I have come here to warn you. The Feathered Serpent constellation is approaching its zenith. This is a rare event. Very, very rare. A most frightening night awaits the inhabitants of the jungle. Be very careful. Wow. That's a scary prediction. And then he became our friend. And we found out that he's the Marsupilami's guardian. He knows everything about them, even which plants will heal them when they're really sick. I found you. Eat. You'll get your strength back. He promised to devote his life to defending and protecting the Marsupilami, and today he's going to tell me why. You see, Leo, to make such a decision, you need to have very good reasons. The apprentice Yamatunga must ask himself why the Marsupilami is so important. Important enough to spend his life defending them. And what does he have to do on the day of decision? The apprentice isolates himself to reflect one last time. And once he is absolutely certain, he chooses himself a stick like this one and feathers to go around it. One feather for each reason that led the apprentice to make such a decision. Do you remember, Leo, when the Marsupilami had to rebuild their nest? <laughs> Along with Grandma Marsu, they held a ceremony to pay tribute to nature. Hoopa, haba. He's asking you to do what they're doing. Watch Mama Marsu. She's spitting the seeds into the rich soil of the jungle. It's their way of thanking Mother Nature for feeding them and sheltering them. Hoopa, baba. Three days. Hoopa, baba. Marsupilamis are independent, jovial, and carefree, but they are also very respectful of the life that surrounds them. They are the most gentle and generous creatures I know. That is why I decided to devote my life to defending them. Tunga's amazing. He promised to spend his life protecting Marsupilamis. Pretty cool, huh? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, do you think I could become a Yamatunga one day? Oh, yeah. I'd love to take care of Marsupilamis. The sun's going down. Quick, Marsu, we still have time to take some pictures of the temple. Uh -huh. We have to hurry up. It's getting dark. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, These pictures are going to be great for my project. <laughs> what? What's going on? Marsu, go! No, Marsu! Marsu! What do you mean? 
trapped inside. On the day of the solstice, the temple door closes at the setting of the sun. That is how the apprentice Yamatunga isolates himself. Surely you can open the door but with your staff, uh, your magical powers, huh? Only Leo can open the temple door, and he can only do it with the Masupalami. Hoopa? Nearby, there is an old passageway that will allow Marsu to get inside the temple. I will give him this. It is a note explaining to Leo how he can get out of the temple. Marsu, you must go and find Leo. And you must give him this. It's very important. Okay. Once he has read the note, Leo will understand how to get out. The apprentice Yamatunga must ask, ask himself, himself why, why the Marsupilami is so important. Why? <laughs> the Marsu's really the most evolved in the whole animal kingdom. Which is why my people have venerated them since time began. <laughs> <laughs> I think without the Marsupilamis, Leo would be quite lonely here. And the Marsupilamis are fortunate to have found such fine new friends. It's true, Marsu. You've become my best friend. You remember when Chloe stayed with us? I was pretty nervous, but you understood what I was going through. <laughs> What? Oh, whatever, Marsu. I don't have a crush on Chloe. <laughs> All right, it's true. I do have a crush on her. She's really beautiful, don't you think? Tomorrow, we'll show her that we really are best friends. Okay? Okay. You helped me show off in front of Chloe and saved me from making a fool of myself a few times. <laughs> What did he say? Uh, he said not to worry. You'll be safe with me in the jungle. I know every inch of it. Uh, come on! Let's go. There. Stay close to me. Uba! Uba! Come on, Chloe. You're gonna love it. Uba! <laughs> Chloe, look at how pretty this flower is. I'm gonna pick it for you. Oh, 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 oh. Leo, a flower. Where are you? Uh, I'm over here. But it wasn't a flower, it was a bird and it flew away. And... <laughs> you know what I love about the jungle? It's all this lush vegetation and the wild animals. But most of all, it's the danger that lurks around every corner and that only an expert could know about. <laughs> Do you have to talk all the time? Leo! Leo! Are you there? He cannot Leo. hear you from inside the temple, David. Nothing scares you, Marsu. Especially if your friends need help. That day, I realized that I could always count on you. Ah! 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 It's a dead end! Ah! Well, what do we do now? Uh, one last kiss? Hoobah! Huh? Now I have to get out of all this by myself. to show off. 
Why? Well, uh, because I like you. I mean, a whole lot. And I wanted you to like me, too. You know, Leo, I... Homer, <laughs> Sue. Yamatunga symbol. It is located on the... Oh, I can't read it. The snake chewed it up too much. The Yamatunga symbol could be anything. Oh, we'll never Ooh. find it. <laughs> Feathers? One hand inside another? That must be it. Good job, Marsu. I just have to press it. No, that's not it. Oh, I get it. Yamatunga has to protect you, Marsu. There are two separate hands here, so my hand has to go <laughs> over yours. I've thought about it, Marsu, and I think I understand. Everything changed when I met you. With you, there's always a ton of cool things to do. Adventures together. But the most important thing is that I know I can count on you. You're always there when I need you. I mean, even when things aren't going so well. Hoopa? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm not gonna miss her that much. I mean, what's two or three years when you really care for someone? Hoopa? Hoopa! 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 You're a good friend, Marcel. You're my best friend, and I've come to a decision. Because you're such a good friend, I'm going to be Yamatunga someday. Hoopa? Hoopa? Hoopa?